The U.S. House of Representatives has voted to oust Speaker Kevin McCarthy in a historic showdown. It's the first time a House Speaker from, has been ousted from his position. The motion was put forward by fellow Republican Matt Gates. We got to move to the next step. You know, we, we are not at the end of this process, okay? At, at most, we're approaching halftime. Uh, we've got to be able to assemble a governing coalition. We have to build from a place of trust. The reason Kevin McCarthy went down today is because nobody trusts Kevin McCarthy. Kevin McCarthy has made multiple contradictory promises, and when they all came due, he lost, he lost votes of people who maybe don't even ideologically agree with me on everything. McCarthy says he will not run for the position again. There's uncertainty over who will take over the role. Republicans meet on Wednesday to decide their next move. Look, you all know Matt Gates. It was personal. It had nothing to do about spending. It had nothing to do about everything he accused somebody of he was doing. Uh, look, I give it as good as I get, right? So it, it, you, you know the challenge. I knew going in, you would take a poll all the time. Is he going to get thrown out this week? But you know what? If I lose my job, over doing what I truly believe what's right, I'm very at peace with it. You asked earlier, like, when did I decide? I knew they would make the motion on me. It didn't make one bit of difference. I felt very comfortable in that decision. And I think the American public believed that decision was right. At least 21 people have died in a bus crash near the Italian city of Venice. Firefighters say the bus caught fire after careering off a bridge crossing the Venetian lagoon from Old Venice. Firefighters worked through the night to extinguish the flames. The bus was carrying was driving to a camping site. Three crew members of a Philippine fishing boat have died after an oil tanker accidentally collided with their vessel. It happened in the waters off Scarborough Shoal in the South China Sea. The Philippine Coast Guard says the tanker was registered under the flag of the Marshall Islands. The Coast Guard is attempting to reach out to the vessel. The 11 crew members who survived say their boat was submerged by the collision. 